I've seen loads of videos on YouTube lately about how to glow up and live in your rich girl era. However, none of these videos seem to offer much practical financial advice. If you're someone who's wanting to glow up your finances, then today's video is for you. Today I'll be sharing practical steps from a financial advisor's point of view on how you can actually glow up your finances and improve your financial situation. So let's get into it. First up, you need to know exactly where you're at right now. You need to know your numbers and know exactly where you're going to be starting from. Take some time to sit down and go over your bank statements, review your income and your expenses. Take some time to use these numbers and create a budget for yourself. If you haven't got a budget already, please check out my four simple steps to create a budget video, which will show you exactly how to do this. It's really important that you know exactly where you're starting from so you can set some goals on where you're wanting to go. This brings me to step two, which is know exactly where you want to go. Take some time to think about what goals you want to achieve for your finances and then make a plan. Some examples of good financial goals that you could have in place are pay down debt, for example. You could look to build your emergency fund if you don't have an emergency fund in place. Or you could have a savings goal that you want to save for a holiday or a special purchase that you're looking to make in the future. It's important that you have a goal and you know what your final destination is going to be so you can work backwards from there to make a plan to achieve it. I recommend that you only have a couple of goals, maybe two or three at a time, so you can increase your focus and really hone in on those goals that you're wanting to achieve. Make sure that your goals are smart and that means that they're specific, they're measurable, they're achievable, they're relevant to you, and they're also time bound. So a good example of a SMART goal is that you want to save, say, $5,000 by the 31st of December 2023. So this is a good SMART goal that it's specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, it's relevant to you, and it's time bound and that it has a deadline. Step three of this process is to create some actionable steps. So now you know where you're starting from, you know what your final destination is going to be, now we need to fill in the middle and create some actionable steps to get you from A to B. The best way that I've found to do this is to work backwards. So let's say for example your goal is to save $1,000 in the next six months. So the action steps that you can take to make a plan for this is to divide that $1,000 by the time frame that you're wanting to achieve this goal in. This will allow you to work out exactly how much you need to allocate each payday towards your goal and achieving that goal. Another action step you could take towards this goal is doing a big declutter of your house and finding some items that you don't need or don't use anymore that you could potentially sell to make that money. Step four on your financial glow up journey is to automate where possible. You can automate anything really. You can automate any bill payments that you might need to make. You can automate your savings as well. If your goal is a savings goal, set up an automatic payment to your savings account on a regular basis. Automation or the set and forget method is a proven strategy that has helped lots of people achieve their savings goals. The money goes out automatically and your savings account grows. As I mentioned, you could also do this with any bill payments, any debt repayments, and also automate any investing if that is your goal. Step five is to make your money work for you. Now only do this step if you've paid down any consumer debt that you have in place and you've got a fully funded emergency fund. If you'd like to hear more about creating an emergency fund, feel free to check out my video called Emergency Fund 101, which explains everything to do with that there. Once you've set yourself up with savings, it's time to look at ways that you could invest your money. Now this does look different for everyone and it does depend on what your goals are and what your strategy is. For me personally, what I'm doing at the moment is investing in shares as this fits my strategy and also aligns with my current risk profile. Eventually, I'd like to get back into investing in property as well, but that is a longer term goal for myself. There are many different ways to invest and there is no one size fits all, so I'm not going to get into it too much in this video. All I will say is find a strategy that works for you and put your money to work. A reminder that sometimes appearing rich and actually being rich can be two very different things. Most of the actual rich people that I know are not material people and they're not spending loads of money on material items. They're not very flashy at all. They just seem to go quietly about their business, save 
saving and investing their money and using strategies that work for them. So a gentle reminder to actually be rich, you don't need to spend lots of money on flashy material possessions. Save your money, spend what you need to, and invest where you can on a strategy that works for you. And this is a proven way to actually glow up your financial situation. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.